Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to make a presentation like this using any software of your choice. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, DeFi Finder, Revit, Photoshop, and InDesign. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is to go to my rendering software and make sure I render out a render with the size of the image. So I'm just going to click here on the image tab. I'm going to set my height to be 2.5 and I'm setting the width to be, let's say, 1.5 so that the image has a vertical feel to it. These settings might differ depending on your software type. So with some tweaking, I've gotten the view that looks very okay for me. And I'll go ahead to render this view and then I will see you in the next software. It doesn't matter the software you're using to render. The most important thing is that you should have more of your sky at the top and then the building below so that the image is vertical and then you have a lot of space to place your floor plans and text at the top of the image. After rendering the first image, I'll go into Revit and then prepare the plans. In Revit, I'm going to just export the plans as images and import it into Photoshop and remove the background. Export as image. I'm going to just set the image size to 1,500 pixel on the horizontal side since that's the same horizontal image app. Whether I export as PNG or JPEG now doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to export as PNG. I'm going to save this on my desktop. And then I'll go ahead to open Photoshop and then open that image in Photoshop. Once I've opened this in Photoshop, the first thing to do is to unlock the image by clicking on this button. And then I'll go to the Select tab, click on Color Range, and click on any white area in this image, and then click on OK. It's going to select all the white area, and then click on Delete on your keyboard to delete it. Once that is done, you can go back to the Select and click on the Select. Now you've saved this image with a transparent background, and we export it as a PNG file. So I'm going to go to File, Export, quickly quick export as png and then i'm going to just save it i have my rendered image and i have the floor plan ready to be matched together with some text we can finish this up in photoshop but for the sake of this tutorial i want to touch all the software so let's head into indesign and let me show you how you can also do this in indesign so once in indesign i'm going to set the width and the height to be exactly the same as the image i rendered this is 2571 and this is 18 now it's not compulsory it must be the same but if it's the same it makes things easier the orientation is vertical and the pages is one start page at one all these other settings are okay i'm just going to keep this as a presentation after this you can click on create once in indesign the first thing you want to do is to drag in your image here's the image i have click drag and then i'll click at the edge to place it it's just going to place directly over even if it is not properly aligned you can use the alternate button to zoom in you can select this and move your image to the top after placing this image the next thing i'll do is to import the plans at the top. I'll repeat the same process. I'll click, just click and drag, and then uh, position the plan at the place you want to place it. It's important to note that whenever you bring an image into InDesign, it lives inside a clipping frame. So to ensure that whenever you are resizing, you always resize both, you use the Control and Shift button when resizing. So I'll just hold down the alternate button to copy this plan because this is a typical plan. And then to add text, you click on the Type tool, you click on the area where the text will be. You can set the size of the text. For now, I'm just going to set mine at 18. And um, if you don't have a text to type, you click on the type icon here. You can add in some placeholder text by clicking on the fill with placeholder text. And then you have uh, texts automatically generated for you. If you have text to type, once you click in your placeholder, you can adjust the sizes. Let me say 48. And then you can type. Before exporting, pressing Shift W on your keyboard would allow you to preview what your work looks like and then get ready to export. So to export, we'll go to File, click on Export, or just type Ctrl E. We're going to export as a JPEG image and then I'm going to save it on my desktop. Just one page I have. The quality, I can set to high resolution. I can leave at 150 or 75, I'm going to export. And then you can go to your desktop, 
check out what you've produced. So this is this is what we've done. You're welcome to try these skills out. If you are new to the channel, you might want to check out this other video on presentation floor plans and this other one on presentation elevation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.